Bible says that uh, Matthew chapter 7, uh, Matthew chapter 7 verse 18, I was just uh, meditating here on this uh, verse um, today while I was working, uh, it says that a, a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Now, every, of course, you've you've probably heard a thousand sermons on this. You've already thought about this a thousand times. You've probably already researched this and, and everything. But really, that's a profound statement. I know we're living in a culture and a society that you know tries to say that uh, uh, you know Christians live in sin. Christians bring forth evil to do evil things. They're still Christian and. Um, you know, we're all just saved by grace, and, and everybody's really a sinner at heart. You know, we just we just need His mercy. We just need His mercy. But you know, that's you know, it's true. We do need God's grace every day, and at times Christians do, um, you know, transgress. Even the best of us, uh, there's times we slip up and do things that are not right and that are not holy. Um. But Jesus said that a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. It can't. It doesn't mean that it's not permitted to bring forth evil fruit. It means it can't bring forth evil fruit. A, a good tree cannot produce evil fruit. So, if there's evil fruit, it's coming from somewhere, but it's not coming from a good tree. Think about that. If, you're, if your life is producing evil fruit, it's not because it's coming from a good tree. It's because it's coming from a bad tree. I know that was... I probably just struck you as being very profound, but... Um, you know, it's just, it's, it's, you know, clearly right there in Matthew 7. I'm sure you've read it a hundred times. And if your life is producing evil fruit, it's not coming from a good tree. It's not coming from a good tree. And you have to ask yourself, well, well, then where is the evil fruit coming from? It's coming from the bad tree, a bad tree. You say, well, well, where's this bad tree? Well, this illustration that, that, that Jesus is giving is he's, the people are the trees. It's actually a man's heart. He said, a good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth good things. And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth evil things. And so, you have to examine yourself. You got to examine yourself. If you are the type of person who is continually uh, bringing forth evil, if you are constantly doing evil, if your life is a pattern of evil, if you are constantly thinking lustful thoughts and acting upon them, and you're constantly wanting to be worldly and and think like the world and act like the world and talk like the world and dress like the world and and be and and bring forth this evil that God disapproves of it's not coming from a godly seed it's not coming from a godly seed i'm saying that to say this you may not be born again you may not really be born again I know you say you, you, you said the prayer, you went to church, you did what the pastor told you to do, you said all the right things, but you really haven't been born again. And, and it says there in, in 1 Peter, it says you've got to be born again of incorruptible seed. You know, a brother the other day just asked me, he said, Brother Matthew, how do you know that you're sanctified? How do you know that you're sanctified? And that was, you know, interesting question. I thought, you know what? 
I know exactly why I'm sanctified. The reason why I know I'm sanctified is because I hate sin. I hate sin. It doesn't mean that I've ne I, it never at times, you know, that I'm super, I'm perfect, that I never commit a sin. But what I'm saying is, is that I hate it. I hate it. I hate sin. I hate it when people dress lascivious. I hate it when I see things that are that are evil. I hate it. I hate hearing foul language. There's just I hate it. I hate sin. And it's not really me that hates it, but it's the spirit of God that is in me that hates it, that disapproves of it. And when I hear it, I just I have a hatred, an enmity towards it. That's how you know you're sanctified. If you are falling in love with hearing these things, if you are hearing the things of the world and you are attracted to the things of the world, then you are not sanctified. You are not set apart. And you may not even be born again. You know, that's why a lot of people are going to come to Jesus. It says there in Matthew 7, talking about Matthew 7 again. A lot of people are going to come to him saying they've done many things in his name, but they were not born again. They were not born again. They did not know God. They were not truly born again of incorruptible seed. And Jesus is going to say, depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. Why? Because they were bringing forth evil fruit. And not just because, and they're not going to be sent to hell because they were bringing forth evil fruit. They're going to be sent to hell because they are a bad tree. A bad tree that was bringing forth evil fruit. They were like a branch that was withered that men gathered to bundles to be burned. It was a tree that did not bring forth any fruit. And so... This is something to, to ponder and consider. If you're feeling an attraction to the world, then you may not be sanctified and you may not be born again. You have to analyze yourself and examine yourself. Paul said there in, I believe it's 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5, he said, examine yourselves whether you be in the faith, prove your own selves. You know, and if he's if in Christ not is not in you, then you're a castaway. You're going to be cast away. You know, and so now remember that a good tree does not bring forth evil fruit. It doesn't do it. I don't care what the Baptists say. I don't care what the once saved always saved people say. I, I don't care. I, I just I don't. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm going off the words of Jesus, not the Southern Baptist Convention, not the denominations. I, I could care less what they have to say. Jesus said, a good tree does not bring forth evil fruit, period. Doesn't happen. It does not happen. So the person's not a good tree if they're bringing forth evil fruit. Just consider that.